PFIT IT management portfolio requirement. Let's talk about this course. Dear me, three to six months. Watch how I make you proud. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Xavier. This is Tech Xavier, where I share my journey in IT with the with an emphasis on careers and an emphasis on uh, education and learning. I'm a recent WGU graduate. I got my bachelor's of science degree in IT management, and I was able to accelerate through the program with the help of my enrollment counselor, my program mentor, and really just a desire to get through this as quickly as possible. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the business portfolio uh, management course, and we're going to talk about what this course is and why it's relevant to you. Now, I generally go into the student portal for this, but there's a lot of information that's really not shareable. And so for that reason, we're just going to talk about this one. But this is probably going to be one of the coolest courses for you, especially for your career. So in general, this course is asking you to compile all the references, all the exhibits, all of the resume information that you could possibly put together and submit it as part of your grade. And it's one of these kind of self-reflective type of courses where you need to talk about yourself a lot and talk about what your plans are for your career, talk about the industry that you want to work in and the achievements you want. Now, this course is three units and the grading process was fast. One thing I do recommend is they're going to ask you for different things, different documents. And so when you're submitting those documents, it's probably best to submit them one by one. So what are your strengths? And let me see your resume. And can you show me some examples of your work or projects or certifications and things like that? So these are things you're just going to gather. You're going to put them together and then you're going to do a little bit of writing about yourself and submit it. This was a one shot kind of submission. I submitted on the 12th, like at four in the morning. And I got my results back the same day at six o'clock in the evening. So it was a quick turnaround. And I got this email like, you're finished. Congratulations, you completed the course. So just look at the rubric, make sure you're in alignment with it, make sure you're answering everything. And just if you have notes for the evaluator, put those down as well. That'll definitely be helpful. Yeah, like I said, just get prepared to talk about yourself. There's not a whole lot to really deep dive into this one, but if you have questions or you're stuck on some assignment, feel free to hit me up in the comments. I'm happy to help you with that particular exhibit or document that you need to submit. But I think that if you go through this and review everything, you should be able to get this done in a day or two. Just think about again, what are your strengths? Who are you as a professional and what do you bring to the table? So with that said, this is a quicker video than most. Good luck on this one. I hope you have fun with it. I hope you can leverage what you learn about who you are and put that stuff out there on the job market even before you finish your degree. And as always, thank you for supporting the video. Thank you for liking it, for sharing it and engaging with this. I just want everyone to succeed and to get through this college experience as quickly and get the most out of it as they possibly can. All right. So that said, this is Xavier or uh, this is Tech Xavier. I'm Xavier, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Dear me, three to six months. Watch how I make you proud.